Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the fan blade in the Samsung refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver a pair of needle nose pliers and a heat gun. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new fan blade. This fan blade is installed on a condenser fan motor shaft and is located behind the fridge in the machine compartment. The fan is used for cooling the compressor and the condenser coils. If you notice that the temperature is going up and the divider is hot to the touch, the fan blade should be checked and if it's loose or broken, replaced. Most of the times, the damaged fan blade will make a noise when the refrigerator is running. Get to the rear of your refrigerator. To get to the part, we need to remove this bottom access panel. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out the screws, open and remove the access panel. Using the needle nose pliers, try to pry the old fan blade off the motor shaft. If it's not going anywhere, use a heat gun to heat the shaft and break loose the glue. Be careful, do not melt anything. And then pry the blade off with the pliers. If there is an excess of the glue, on the shaft, use fine sandpaper to clean it off. This is the old fan blade next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Hold the condenser motor at the back and push the new fan blade on the shaft as far as it can go. Use the opportunity to clean the condenser coils. Vacuum first, and then uh, use soap and spray it. All right, so don't turn it on while it's still dripping. Let it dry up a little bit. Install the rear access panel onto the bottom clips. and secure to the Phillips screws. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.